Eunice Etienne is a sweet three-year-old girl from Tanzania who, in our opinion, needs serious prayers to be set free from the powers of darkness. And we will tell you why in this video. In Tanzania, there's an extraordinary three-year-old. She gets water, fries for it, and turns it into holy water. That holy water heals people from different diseases and even some deadly ones. Eunice's mother claims she carried Eunice in her womb for three years. And today, Eunice sees visions and claims to heal all kinds of diseases, including cancer. She has healed a lot, not one, not even ten, but she has healed many sick people with different diseases. And she's becoming famous because of miracles she performs. Let's stop right there for a moment. A three-year-old girl is becoming famous because of the miracles she performs. Are these miracles from God, Satan, or pure tricks? Keep watching to find out. What is so unusual is that as other normal babies are born after nine-month pregnancy, for her, she spent three years in her mother's womb, and she even started talking at seven months. Well, we can all agree that this is just a made-up story because a woman can't be pregnant for three years, and surely a baby can't talk coherently at seven months. What kind of a child is this that she even heals mad people? She heals the deaf, heals cancer, and casts away evil spirits and demons. Where does she get this authority from? This is the real question we want to address in this video. Where does this three-year-old get this power from? We took the time to read the first 70 comments on this original video, which has garnered over 1.7 million views, and 100% of the commenters believe that truly, this young girl has the power from God to perform miracles. Now, you can clearly understand why the Antichrist will be very successful at deceiving millions, if not billions. Because of the false miracles, which he will perform, many people will flock to him. Why? Because they will be more interested in miracles than hearing sound biblical doctrines. Even him, talking about the Antichrist, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 9-10 Please help us spread biblical truth. Subscribe and watch our videos till the end. It helps to reach more people with the truth. Thanks for your support. The two parents are all Christians from the Catholic Church. They believe that the more she grows, the more her superpowers increase. A few years ago when it was around 4 p.m., Enise was playing around with other children while her parents were inside the house. Enis raised the hand and said, Mom is calling. But others replied, She's not, for we would have heard the voice. But she said, No, I'm not talking about the biological mother. I'm talking about another mother, she replied. She stood up, going to the other mother she mentioned, and fellow kids followed her. In front of them, there was a burning flame, and Enis runs toward that flame. Her fellow friend tried and stopped her, but she was stronger than them and she entered that burning flame. Parents hurried up and met Aeneas on her return, and she immediately kneeled down, said the Hail Mary prayer, and concluded with St. Ignatius' prayer. If the young girl has some spiritual power, she is not operating under the power of God. She appears to be hearing from demonic spirits who impersonate Mary. Mary is long dead, and the Bible states that the dead cannot communicate with the living because they know nothing. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5. Also, 1 John 4 verse 1 warns believers not to believe every spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Just because someone claims she sees or hears from Mary does not mean it is actually Mary. Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light in order to deceive people. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. 
Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. 2 Corinthians 11, verses 14 and 15. From there, she started showing her special talent as she prayed for us, and we could see the flame of fire on top of the head. She could pray, and the next day, fire from heaven would cover her, but she would not get burned. Holy Mary started visiting and appearing to her since young, and that is who she called the mother, and she thinks Jesus is her brother. <laughs> so, Mary, not God, is the one performing the miracle. This is a major red flag. We can't accept or deny that Eunice had a Marian apparition. But judging by her words, this whole apparition and miracles are not from God. This hilly and mountainous region is where Mary appeared to Enis. In a message from Mary, she said, <laughs> Mary appeared to her the day before we came here and she was told to build a church using stones and urged to always pray. Jesus is my brother and Mother Mary is my mom. I pray for the water I use when heal people by pouring holy water on them. Many women in Catholic Church have suffered greatly due to weird manifestations of spirits that are not from God. Many confirmed stigmatics have experienced excruciating bodily pains in the name of bearing wounds of Christ's crucifixion. This statue over here belongs to a lady called Julia Kim. And she is one of the present day stigmatists of the Roman Catholic Church. Do you all know what a stigmatist is? Stigmatist is someone who bleeds by the hands or has the marks of Christ or bleeds by the feet or uh, suffers the agonies of Christ for the sins of the world. Also, this one over here, a statue of Christ, which started bleeding real blood. They've had it analyzed. The great stigmataries of the world, Teresa Neumann, and uh, she said great natural disasters will come in the United States. Here she is in her stigmatic agonies. Notice the blood running out of her eyes, running down from her hands. And then the most amazing thing happened. The Pope himself was saying Mass, and he fed the host to Julia Kim, the stigmatist. And there he is. And they took the photograph as the host was on her tongue. There's the picture. It turned into a clot of blood in her mouth. That's pretty dramatic. And the question is, is this from God or is this from another source? If you were a Roman Catholic and you saw this happening and this was what religion was all about, well, it would be convincing. This woman over here is Sister Anna Ali of Nigeria. So currently, there's a stigmatist on every continent. But this is the young girl that uh, receives the stigmata in this area. Her name is Mirna Nazur, and uh, she lives in Damascus, and she suffers terribly when she has the stigmata. I want you to look at this young girl. She's a very pretty young lady. There she is. That's what she looks like normally. And when she gets the stigmata, she starts bleeding from the forehead and then when after a while she starts looking like that now this is very impressive but i have a question if jesus died once for all for all our sins is it necessary for anyone else to suffer the pains of the crucifixion in order to atone for the sins of the world yes or no no it's not biblical so if it's not biblical Who's doing this to this poor lady? Can only be Satan. I hate what he does. Why should these poor people be so deceived? Why should they suffer like this for nothing when the truth could set them free? We pray that God will save Eunice from the evil spirits. God is not the author of confusion. He won't contradict his words, which are enshrined in the Holy Bible. Certainly, God does not empower people who don't have a personal relationship with Him through Jesus Christ. Therefore, if indeed true, all these manifestations are from Satan, who disguises himself as an angel of light. You can throw the name of Jesus around all you want. You can sing it 50 times in one song. It's coming. It's coming. They think the proof 
that they are His is in their prophecies, their exorcisms, and their miracles. Did they really do them? Of course not. Of course not. You have to debate that? The Lord says, I don't even know you. He doesn't empower people who aren't even in His kingdom to do miracles, to cast out Satan, or, or to reveal His truth through prophecy. While deception does not discriminate based on region, age, gender, or socioeconomic status, Africa is susceptible to this type of deception because of the high poverty level. Sick people can't afford health care, so they turn to anyone who claims to perform miracles for healing. This is not an indictment on Africa, because America is filled with just as many false prophets and false miracles as Africa. <laughs> We wind it up. <laughs> In this video, we covered a story of a Catholic lady who claimed to be God the Holy Spirit, and thousands flocked to her for healing, miracles, and deliverance. If you want to watch that video, see the link in the description. We speak out against this type of deception for many reasons. First, this is not Christianity. Many people must distance themselves from these ungodly manifestations. For certain people have crept in unnoticed. They've crept in unnoticed. How do you recognize them? Ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only Master and Lord Jesus Christ. They pervert the gospel and misrepresent Jesus. That's as simple as I can put it and they must be contended with. They must be refuted. They must be exposed. Second, when people desperate for miracles don't receive their breakthroughs and finally realize that they have been duped, they turn away from true Christianity. Therefore, we must continue to warn people to stay away from false prophets and preachers, but at the same time, point them to the only one, Jesus Christ, who has promised eternal life to those who put their faith and trust in Him. We urge everyone, especially our Catholic friends, to recognize that salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone, and that they're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth to you. There's no real power in the so-called holy water, holy oil, or Marian apparitions. Then in 1996, CNN had a news flash that the Virgin Mary appeared in the front window of a building in Florida. And it was a bank, amazingly enough. And there it is, a permanent picture of Mary. And these are the crowds adoring around this area. Now when it first appeared, Catholics started praying the rosary and they started speaking in tongues. Anybody who walked by started speaking in tongues. There is power in the name of Jesus. Don't seek only material blessings from God. Instead, seek the heart of God. Seek to know Him and the power of His resurrection according to Philippians 3 verse 10. What you seek changes when you have the right perspective about God and Christianity. The temporary hardships or afflictions you may experience here on earth won't steal your joy or cause you to lose faith in God. Why? Because the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8 verse 18